Yannick, good to see you. The, t the event is now over. Um, how have Switzerland got on? Oh, we played a good Olympiad. Um, at the start, we would beat weaker teams and lose to stronger teams, and then uh, then we started being a bit, you know, more solid. And uh, it all came down to the last round where we we got a good pairing against Paraguay. Uh, who are stronger than us, but not by much, so we had a, basically a, a decent chance, but uh, it didn't go well. Our two last boards lost, and uh, I was probably close to winning, and I, I missed some tricks, and uh, in the end I had to be happy with a draw, so 3-1 against us, so that's a bad finish. Mm. But all in all, it was good, I mean... Um, did, did, did the team exceed expectations? Probably, yeah. A little, yeah, probably. Not, it, we were about, yeah, about around in range of our expectations, and because of the last rounds, probably, yeah. Um, but you've introduced two new younger players, so you have Nico Georgiadis and Noel Studer. So how did they get on? Well, Nico already played in Tromsø, and he had a very good Olympiad then. Uh, his Olympiad here was uh, a little less good because, well, he lost the last round, but in general he played well. We all played very decently, actually. And, um, and Noel was doing really well, but he got ill in the last uh, three, four days. He couldn't play the last three rounds or four rounds, three rounds, I think. So, well, he, he had to rest and, um, yeah. There were some issues with with health. Uh, some people got ill with uh, stomach problems, and uh, our one of our girls even had to stay two days in bed, and she was really do doing badly. But our team was more or less okay. I mean, I had no problem. S all our men players had small problems, and Noel had something else, uh, not, <laughs> not stomach. So, <laughs> and for you personally, it's actually been a pretty good event. Yeah, I, I made plus three. So, uh, and against good opposition. Yeah, quite good, yeah. yeah. I had a few quite weak players, but also I, I managed to beat uh, Richard Rapport in a, in a quite entertaining game. I don't know if you saw it, and uh, I sacked the, the Queen and it was uh, really interesting. Oh, really? Yeah, some positional compensation and then it was Queen for two pieces and two pawns, but one pawn was very advanced. And then he cracked and, uh, and I, I managed to win, although it was not so easy technically. But anyway, that was definitely the highlight of my, of my tournament. You seem to have a knack for beating the stars. So last year you beat Hikaru Nakamura, you beat Magnus Carlsen. Uh, okay, how do you do it? As, as dare I say, a part-time <laughs> professional chess player, because of course your duties as an, one of the organisers in Beale, in the in the, the the wonderful Beale Chess Festival. So uh, this is remarkable. How do you do it? I don't know. It's uh, you know I might be more relaxed now with family. You know I have family, so I, I work a lot lot less on chess. Uh, and uh, I can feel that in many in many things. But somehow, you know, I've got also some experience. I'm almost 40 years old, and I've played a lot of, you know, very strong players in in my career in Beal and not only in Beal. So um, you know, I've got some kind of stamina, stamina, and when it comes to playing these guys, I can be very solid. And then sometimes they overpress, and uh, and it can. But I also lose. Uh, I mean, it's not like I, I would beat every every top player who comes no, from. But, it, but it's a fantastic performance. That's absolutely brilliant. So what next for you? Well, back home, back to the, back to back to Paris, back to Paris, and my family. That will be nice. Uh, and then uh, we'll have, you know, Swiss League and uh, the European Cup with the Club of Zurich in November in Novi Sad. So that's the next tournament, probably very probably the next tournament on my agenda. And yeah, good luck. Thank you.